guys, it's Shannon, and today I have a diamond painting haul for you. So as you can see right here, I have three boxes. These all came from the same seller. They were actually like piled up like this in a package and all taped together. And the package was like kind of crazy. So Paul got them all out of the package for me. But I have not taken these out of the box yet because I wanted to kind of do that on camera and kind of see them for myself for the first time with you guys. So I believe um, the title will be correct of the video, but I believe these are all from, um, well, they came from AliExpress and I believe they're all from um, the store is called Anna Store, A-N-N-A Store, and they're all listed as Home Fun, which is H-O-M-F-U-N. Um, yeah, they're all from that store. So I had heard somebody else on YouTube talk about that store and that the things were a nice quality, so I decided to give it a try. And I'm really sorry, I don't remember whose video I was watching. It might have been Diamond Painting with Donnie. Is that the name of the channel? I'm sorry. I don't remember for sure, but um, I did see them on another video. So, or I had seen the store, not these particular canvases. So let's just go ahead and open this up and see what we have. Apparently we have a gift. Home Fun. Okay, there's the, the name. And they have a little, um, QR codes. Let's see what's in our gift. Maybe we have to take this off. It looks like a little pill. I don't know what's in here. I haven't ever gotten a gift. Whoops, that did not work. Okay, we'll just break it. <gasps> Look at that! It's a little diamond painting pen. It's like a travel pen. How cute is that? That's a little diamond painting pen, you guys. Oh, and it has a little face right there. That is really adorable. I love that. That is really cute. Okay, I don't know why that just made me so happy. I guess it's the little things, right? Okay, next we have a bunch of trays and we have, you know, just the standard tools. We have the tray, the wax, um, single placement pen and tweezers, a couple little baggies. So those are all the same. What is this? Oh, another free gift. Look at that. Home Fun 5D DIY diamond painting. And it's a gold, like a really nice weight pen here with the big diamond at the top. That is so cool. Wow, that is really neat. Hey, look, you can actually twist it and the little um, diamond painting tip goes back inside. That is so awesome. <laughs> Okay, I think I just have, oh, they're stuck. I think there are just some canvases in here. Let's see if we can get them out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay, canvases, canvases, and another kit. <laughs> and that's all that's in that box. So, let's take a look at my canvases, shall we? Let's take all these rubber bands off. So, I like the way they package this. Um, the canvases are on this like um, foam kind of, here we go, like a foam piece and that keeps them from getting wrinkled. So let's see, let's take that out. Looks like I have two canvases here. Oh goodness. Let's look at the first one. So this is the first one. It's a Stormtrooper. How awesome is that? It's a 30 by 40. And we're gonna go ahead and kind of peel up this paper and try to flatten these a little bit. So this is something that I learned to do thanks to some other channels on YouTube that if you peel this up, and seriously, I am not having an easy time doing it. <laughs> if you peel it up and then lay it back down and push, um, it kind of flattens out your canvases. So let's see. Okay, these symbols look really nice and clear. Let me show you guys. They look pretty easy to read. I think this is gonna be so much fun. I love stormtroopers. 
So I am not a huge Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars, I'm just not a huge fan, but I love Stormtroopers. So I had to get the Stormtrooper one because, you know, they're awesome. Okay. Let me just go ahead and do this side. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> okay, so you can see if you pull that up and then kind of flatten it back down, now this isn't rolling up like crazy. So that's my first one, the Stormtrooper. And the next one is Boba Fett. So I got this one for Paul, my husband, if you're not familiar with who he is. He likes a Boba Fett. And I think this is another 30 by 40, let's see. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and pull this one up. <clears throat> this one's gonna be fun because it has a lot of different colors. Oops, I just tore the paper. You guys that make videos of this all the time, you make this look so easy. This is not easy. I'm like fighting with this. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Okay. So there's the bottom half of Boba Fett and I believe that's the Sarlacc pit, if I'm not mistaken. I will have to double check that with my Star Wars loving husband. These are really nice canvases. The sticky is really good. And so far, both of these were full um, canvases, which they were supposed to be. So, so far, so good. Okay, next up, I wonder if this is just the rest of my canvases and then maybe my um, diamonds are all in one of the other boxes. I'm not sure, because I still have two more boxes. But I think I only bought five diamond paintings from them. But maybe I bought more. I don't remember. Okay, there's the foam piece. And let's pull our first canvas out. Okay, this one feels bigger. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the Disney Villains. I don't know if you can see that there. The Villains. And this is a 50 by 40. So I wanted to get this one bigger because one of the things I learned is that um, if the picture is really small, you don't get good detail. So hopefully this is big enough. Let's see. Okay, the images all, or the, um, the symbols all look nice and clear. Okay, so that's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like that's pretty decent. Um, pretty decent detail. So we have Ursula, we have the Evil Queen up here. It looks pretty good. This is the first one that I've had, I think, that has the paper in two sections here. Okay, there's the Queen of Hearts and the Old Hag. This one's gonna be a lot of fun to do. So if you guys do diamond painting videos, you have to let me know down in the comments. I'm like totally addicted to diamond painting right now. And I would love to watch your videos. So please let me know. Chances are I've probably seen your videos already just because I'm like watching them like crazy. As I sit upstairs and diamond paint, I like put on other diamond painting videos and then just listen to them while I do my work. Okay, cool, villains. It looks like I have two more. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this is the, I call it Disney princess hair. <laughs> It's like all the princesses and then they're all like head to head so their hair is all touching. Looks like this is a 40 by 40. So let's go ahead and peel this back. There's some of our princesses. We have Merida and it looks like Mulan. And who is this? Is this Cinderella over here? I can't tell. Looks pretty good though. <clears throat> Let's look right here. I just adore diamond painting. <laughs> it is so much fun. 
Okay, Pocahontas and Aurora, Jasmine, and Ariel, maybe. Let's just peel these back really quick. More princesses. I can't wait to do this. I love Disney. I really want to go back to Disney. <laughs> Probably going to be a while, but someday. Okay, so there's that. One more. What is this one? We don't know. It's a 45 by 30. Oh, it's Mickey and Minnie Mouse in like a uh, silhouette form. And then they should have like little images inside of them. So hopefully this is big enough that we can kind of see. Oh, no, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to see too much. I mean, a little bit you can see like Snow White, I think. <laughs> it's actually easier to see through the camera than when you're looking at the canvas itself. So this is Mickey with all the images. If you want to be able to see all these images, I would definitely go bigger than 45 by 30. So this side of it should be Minnie Mouse. Yep, so she's upside down, but same kind of thing. She has different images in there. Um, I don't think they're gonna come out that clear, but you never know, I could be surprised. Okay, let's open this box. This one's really heavy, so I'm assuming this is all the diamonds. Uh, there's one. Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry, I have to bring it out from under the camera. <laughs> I'm trying to get these out. They are stuck in there. Maybe if I open the box from the other end, it'll help. There's one. Okay, that's everything out of there. So yeah, here is the Stormtrooper and all the diamonds or drills for that. This one is the Disney Villains, so you can see it better there. And, ah, we've had an explosion. Some of the blue ones leaked out in there. And they're leaking all over my table, so... Um, I don't see where they're coming from. I kind of want to put them back in because I might need those. Oh well, I don't know why they're leaking. Let me just clean those up for now. And then here is the Disney hair picture, so you can see that a little bit better. So, whoo, that is a lot of colors. That one has forty-five colors. That's probably the most colors I've had thus far. Okay, and then I'm guessing this last box is going to have the diamonds for the last two. This one got smashed. Okay. Yep, that's all that was in there. So. I have the Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And there are all those. And Boba Fett. So, pretty cool. So I think this is only like my second haul of diamond painting things. I have a ton that have come in. I'm kind of like an addict. I like went crazy and bought a ton. So. I'm going to be sharing some more diamond painting hauls coming up very soon. I'm also going to be sharing a um, completed diamond painting and work in progress diamond painting haul or video. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you love diamond painting, go get some done right now. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.